Hey guys, here's your practice blueprint, one hour. Let's make the most of your time. And I think we've got some good stuff. We're gonna cover some putting, some challenges, chipping and up and down. And then we're gonna work on alignment and really try to make sure that we're narrowing the field. If we're hitting it crooked, we wanna narrow the field and make sure that it's not the pre-swing's fault. Enjoy it. This is Golf Essentials with Casey Bork. So here's your practice blueprint for the day, guys. We're gonna make best use of one hour of time. Obviously, if you've got more than that, just push out the times or deploy some of the other things, other drills that we've talked about. So I'm gonna dedicate the first quarter, so the first 15 minutes of our time to putting, and we're gonna do what's called the ladder drill. It's a really cool drill that works on short and mid-length putts, presents a challenge. Maybe you've seen it on, on my website, it's outlined there. But basically what we're going to do is pick a, pick a hole on the putting green that has a little bit of slope. So if you want to hit right to left putts, left to right, uphill, downhill, whatever it is, we're going to hit putts on a similar line but of varying distances. And the way that we set it up is we're going to take the hole and we're going to extend out about three feet and we're going to stick a tee in the ground. The way to do that, your putter is probably about 35, 36 inches long, so that's three feet. So roughly a putter length. That'll be our first station. Then we're gonna put tees in the ground from that station two feet further out, so another two thirds of your putter. Measure it, put a tee in the ground, and then keep going. So we're gonna do a three footer, a five footer, seven footer, nine footer, 11 footer, 13 footer, and a 15 footer. So you should have seven tees in the ground. So they're extending from the hole outward on a similar line. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at that first tee, and we're gonna knock in the three footer, and if we do so, we're gonna move back to the five footer. And we're doing this, guys, with just one ball. We're gonna go through our routine, make a practice stroke, value each shot. We're gonna do quality over quantity. Okay, so hit your three footer. If you make it, you get to move back to the five footer. When you make the five footer, you hit one, you get one try. You hit the five footer. If it goes in, you go back to station three, which is the seven footer. If you miss, you fall back one station. So every putt you hit, you're either moving back a station or forward a station. And the goal is to make, so you're gonna oscillate. You're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, but hopefully you're able, ideally, move right off the end of the ladder. So it takes a little time. It takes, it takes some skills to make all those putts, especially that last one, that last 15 footer. When you finally get to that station, it's pretty cool. And you got your one chance, 15 feet. PGA Tour average from 15 feet is probably 10%, maybe 15%, something like that, maybe 15%. So it's hard to do. And what this drill does a really good job of, each day or each time you do this, you can try different breaking putts. So you can work on putts that you're not real comfortable with. And what it does is it brings, so you're only using one ball and it brings an element of pressure, right? So you're either moving backward or forward. So there's a two shot, a two two station swing for every putt. And the goal is to get off the ladder. Over time, if you set it up the same way every time, albeit with different breaks, but you'll, you'll have sort of a barometer in your head how good your short putting is getting, mid-length putting, right? Initially, if you're a beginner, you're gonna be oscillating in the three, five, seven foot range. You're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. And it's gonna be hard to really elevate off the end of that ladder. But as, as you become a better putter, you'll move pretty quickly, three, five, seven. You might oscillate there, and then every now and then push further out on the ladder. And if you're lucky, if you get in the zone, you could push off the end of the ladder, and it feels really good. So that'll be a, a little barometer if you can do this drill semi-regularly. So really cool drill there. I love it. I do it all the time. From there, after 15 minutes or so of that, we're going to move to a very simple up and down game. So grab your seven iron and your putter, and what we're going to do is, is take one ball again, and we're going to play nine holes as if we've hit our shot next to the green on the fringe. So just fairway lies just between one foot and, say, three or five feet off the green, and we're going to hit a chip shot and then try to putt it in the hole. And every hole, we're going to play nine holes, par two on every hole, so if you go around and you chip and put it in the hole, you get up and down every time you shot even par. And that's the goal, right? If you hit a shot next to the green, we want to make one chip and then a putt 
that's what we're hoping to do. Again, every, every chip shot is from a different position to a different hole, different lengths. Don't make them too complicated. Don't, don't make crazy shots. What we're trying to do here is, is work on sort of the, the standard chip shots, but add in a little challenge, a little variability, a little creativity at the same time. So these chip shots are this basic chip, feet close together, ball a little back in your stance, choke down on the club, and then we're just sort of making like a putting stroke. And what we want to do is gauge the distance, chip it up there next to the hole, hopefully, and putt it in. If you hit a bad shot, now you've got a longer putt. See if you could two putt, make your bogey, right? And keep a nine hole score. And doing this on a semi-regular basis, again, gives you a quasi benchmark as to how good your sort of basic skills as far as short game goes. Really cool game there. So another another 15 minutes, nine holes should take you 15 minutes or so. Push it to 18 holes if you want. Um, it's pretty fun. All these, the ladder drill and the up and down game are really cool to do with other people too. So you can, you can just get a buddy and pick a hole, go to a hole, keep your score. Um, the ladder game is cool with, with two different balls. You just take turns hitting the putts and you move your ball from to the station that you've got a putt from and the winner moves off the end of the ladder. So two good short game sessions there and then we're going to move over to the full swing and a little different from what we did last time, I want to focus today on, on alignment and stance. So when we're on the range, last week we sort of hit from different clubs to different targets, a little more of a uh, creative element. This time I want to make sure that we're aligned and set up correctly. And if you watch the guys on TV when they practice, they'll always do this, at least for a portion of their practice session. They'll lay clubs down on the ground or alignment sticks to make sure that they're aiming where they think they're aiming. And that's super important. A lot of people don't bother to do that and they're aiming crooked, either left or right, or their body lines aren't very good. And, they, and they're hitting it crooked naturally. So if you're aiming crooked each time or differently each time, then you have to swing differently each time in order to hit the same shot. And so what I wanna do is really, really ingrain, okay, let's, let's get in our heads how we're aiming and what that feels like. And that way, if we start hitting it crooked, we, we've at least narrowed it down, okay, then it is the swing. Most of the time it's club face, or if you're a beginner, you just probably haven't gotten enough reps in, you know? So just, just making those motions. So here's how I do it. So put the ball on the ground where you want to hit your first shot from, and then pick a, a really precise target out there, like a flag or a tree, and stand behind the ball and, and grab a club and cover the ball and the, the flag that you're aiming at with the shaft of the club. So you could hold it out in front of you, cover it, and, and you can imagine that, that that straight line from ball to target is your target line. What we want to do is lay a club down on the ground that's going to go between your toes and the ball that'll be perfectly parallel to that. And it's just, just for reference, right? So if we do that, we lay that on the ground just a couple feet to the left of the ball. And if we stand behind that shaft, here's the thing. If you stand behind that shaft and you, you look at it, it, it should be left of your target. So parallel lines, they should be total parallel. If if your alignment stick is aiming at the flag, so your body's aiming at the flag and the club is aiming at the flag, then you've got converging lines. That's the tendency. Let's try to avoid that. If anything, it's actually healthier to be slightly open than it is to, to err on the side of closed. So make sure those lines are perfect. We've got the ball there. If you, want, if you don't have great grass or I, there's no shame in teeing up the ball. So put it on a low tee if you want to because we're not working on digging the ball out of the dirt today. We're working on alignment. We're working on a, the same stance every single time. So a lot of what we're doing today is just as much pre-swing as it is in-swing, okay? There's, there's big time value in doing that, okay? So really focusing on what's happening before you ever take the club back, give yourself the best chance for success and, and for repetition. Okay, so we've got this, start with the wedges, start with those nine o'clock swings, little pitch shots, each shot sort of leapfrog it out there, expand it to full swings, and then move up the bag, you know, pitching wedge, nine iron, seven iron, five iron. I like to do odd numbers one day, even numbers the next, just so I'm not wearing out the same clubs all the time. 
So move up into the woods, hit a few shots there, and then to wrap things up, I like to sort of fall back into the wedges. So fall back through the mid irons again, and then into the wedges. So I sort of go up, um, almost like a workout, right? You start light, start light, you get more intense with the woods and the long irons and things, and then you fall back to a cool down. And that's a really good way to spend a half hour hitting your balls. Quality over quantity, guys. Let's not rapid fire these things. Okay, give some thought. Again, we're not just working on the swing, we're working on the pre-swing. That's, that's so valuable. Uh, really, really working on your alignment, making sure we're aiming where we think we're aiming. That way, if we're hitting it crooked, we've narrowed the field down to what, what we can address. Okay, so we've got the ladder drill, then the up and down drill, and then we've got some alignment and stance. We wanna nail that down on the full swing, and that is an hour really well spent that's a that's a, a real blueprint that that I use very often. So I hope that helps guys. Reach out if you've got any questions. Seabork at pga.com.